I'm pleased to share this devotional with you today. It's from Genesis chapter 29, verses 1 through 14. And throughout this summer, I've been sharing with you the story of Jacob. Jacob, his uh, older brother Esau, his mother Rebekah, and his father Isaac. And a very special promise that had come to Jacob and not to Esau. You remember, may remember from the last uh, devotional that uh, Jacob had to flee from his uh, brother Esau. And as he was uh, out to the desert, uh, he saw uh, what we know as Jacob's ladder. And angels ascending and descending uh, upon this ladder. And Jacob realized that the Lord was in this place and that the Lord was with him. No matter what uh, the uh, fear he might have of his brothers or from just being a stranger in a strange land. Now we read in Genesis 29 these words as Jacob has a very uh, fortunate surprise. Then Jacob went on his journey and came to the land of the people of the east. As he looked, he saw a well in the field and three flocks of sheep lying there beside it. For out of that well the flocks were watered. The stone on the well's mouth was large, and when all the flocks were gathered there, the shepherds would roll the stone from the mouth of the well and water the sheep and put the stone back in its place on the mouth of the well. Jacob said to them, My brothers, where do you come from? And they said, We are from Haran. He said to them, Do you know Laban, son of Nahor? And they said to him, We do. He said to them, Is it well with him? Yes, they replied, and here is his daughter Rachel coming with the sheep. He said, Look, it is still broad, broad daylight. It's not time for the animals to be gathered together. Water the sheep and go pasture them. But they said, We cannot until all the flocks are gathered together, and the stone is rolled from the mouth of the well. Then we water the sheep. While he was still speaking with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she kept them. Now when Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of his mother's brother Laban, and the sheep of his mother's brother Laban, Jacob went up and rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the flock of his mother's brother Laban. Then Jacob kissed Rachel and wept aloud, and Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's kins kinsman, and that he was Rebekah's son, and she ran and told her father. When Laban heard the news about his sister's son Jacob, he ran to meet him. He embraced him and kissed him, and brought him to his house. And Jacob told Laban all these things. And Laban said to him, Surely you are bone, or you are my bone and my flesh. And he stayed with him for a month. Isn't this a great story? Jacob, uh, frightened, uh, out on his own, uh, running from his brother Esau, but then meeting the Lord himself. And then, of all things, the very next thing he meets his uh, kinsman, and he meets uh, what will soon uh, be his uh, most loved wife, that be uh, Rachel. And while this uh, story doesn't tell us uh, exactly that uh, the Lord directed uh, him uh, to uh, Rachel and to uh, her father uh, Laban, it sure seems like that's the way that things are happening here. As Jacob all of a sudden looks up and sees uh, someone who can point him to his uh, kinsman's uh, house. Isn't that the way that it is with the Lord sometimes? Um, sometimes we may feel fr uh, frightened, uh, afraid, uh, wondering what might happen next to us, but he has a way of leading us, right, uh, to green pastures and to still waters, as that's what uh, the shepherd does with us. He leads us to places so that uh, we might be blessed, provided that uh, we are choosing to walk in his ways and follow his uh, his word. And then is it this wonderful that uh, uh, Laban will uh, recognize uh, Jacob as being his sister's son and will actually take him into his house. And there'll be a whole bunch of other things that develop uh, after this uh, as uh, Jacob uh, the trickster uh, is going to find himself uh, tricked uh, even by his own family. Um, and that uh, might be uh, a little bit hard, but uh, that's a story for another day. For today, it's that God leads, and he knows how to bring us to the right people and to the right places. And even when it seems like uh, he might be far off, indeed, he is leading us and guiding us and taking us in the direct, right direction. Do you have faith in that today? I hope so. Uh, if not, I hope uh, that you'll join me with a word of prayer now for faith in God's leading. Let's pray. 
Father in heaven, thank you for this day that you've given to us. We know it's a day that uh, uh, you have made, and so we rejoice and are glad in it. And as uh, Jacob was led to his family many, many years ago when uh, he was in a, a, a difficult place, in a hard place, so we pray today that you would lead us, and you would lead each person who is uh, listening to this devotional, and you would lead them to a spot uh, where they would find uh, uh, your blessing and uh, your care. Now be with us and be with our church today, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. And may God's blessing be with you.